welcome to Wolf Farms. <laughs> I'm Don, also known as Knitting Wolf. And I'm James, also known as Wolf Photo. This podcast is brought to you by Wolf Farms. You can find us on the internet at wolffarms.net. We have a cent of the month every month. You get 25% off. And for the month of March, it is cherry almond. <laughs> what? Because you had to look. I got to remember what we're doing, but uh, you get 25% off everything in the shop that is scented in that uh, fragrance, uh, as well as other sale items. If you go to our specials page and you search through there, <laughs> we got a special guest star from the farm today. It's Patrick. Yeah. It's our uh, bearded dragon hanging out with us today. Sir, I don't have a rack, but <laughs> he's, he's, he's sliding down. <laughs> it's going to be in your lap here soon enough. Oh, poor Patrick. Hmm. But I want to welcome new and returning viewers. Thanks for joining us today. We probably have a quick podcast, huh? Yeah. It's all, it's, Don says it's the it's James show you. because <laughs> I'm going to dazzle you with uh, trivia <laughs> and entertainment. We got some knitting stuff going on too. So what's, uh, what's on the agenda for this podcast? Farm happenings, farmer's almanac, in the coop, flume the coop, squeal like a pig, in roundup. In roundup. In roundup. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, uh, let's... So farm happenings. Farm happenings. Is that all? Oh, well, we had our Fuji appointment. Or... Yep. Fuji chemo on Friday, and yep. she got a new uh, chemo. Which is making her sick this weekend, so. Yeah, so, because we, we had, uh, things were looking good from the last Previous. round the, before this last week. And uh, and we're hoping, you know, fingers crossed, you know, we actually, this is the best she had responded to anything um, since like November. Yeah. And so I didn't completely get her taken care of, so the vet's going to go through and, and do this new protocol to see if that um, will work with her because I guess they combine two different drugs that work kind of uniquely on their own, but when you combine them, they seem to do better. They kind of work together. So we're trying that out. Um, well, it's kind of three drugs because the other ones come FedEx on Monday. That Yeah, these are pills. So, so you yeah. get shots and then she'll go through pills daily for the next couple two weeks. Couple weeks. And then, uh, depending on how she's feeling, because she's, right now she's not feeling good. She's kind of, uh, you can tell she's not, yeah. it's it's affecting her. So uh, so she's <clears throat> kind of tucked away under her blanket right now, and and we're going to play it by ear to see how she's doing during the week to see whether we go in on Friday or if we wait another week and go in the following Friday to take care of the, the next round. So, yeah. But, uh, but yeah, so and that's... Part of dealing with, you know, the lymphoma. Yeah. Just gonna... And then when we do go back, we're going to be taking Dundee because he's still having knee hip issue. So she has a surgeon that she wants to look at have it. look at it. Because when we were in there with Fuji, she said video it next time he has. It's, it's like a cramp. It, it, he acts like he's got a cramp in his leg, yeah. which is not normal of course and so when he gets playing and you know or he'll just get up off the couch and you know it's like mm. so we're trying to figure out what's going on and so we video she asked us to video it and and send it to her and we had done that and she uh she showed it to a couple of the surgeons there where where we take fuji and uh, they want us to bring him in so they can look at it to diagnose it so that we can figure out what what we need to do you know because there's some if it's one thing, it's just muscle relaxers and they'll grow out of it. And if it's another thing, it's, it's probably a surgery on his knee. Kind of no, like what that's Fuji that's what they're had. thinking it but, is. But like I said, it's one of those things they need to get their hands on them to see. And um, so that will take <laughs> Dundee down. He's, he's snoozing on the couch. He looks so comfy. I know. His head's <laughs> on like the armrest of it with yeah. a smile on yeah, his face. Yeah, I know. Face. You almost see him smiling. <laughs> <laughs> but uh yeah so so it's it'll be an adventure because we have to bring jimmy with us to entertain dundee while we're driving because it's an hour and 20 minute drive yeah. uh to the, where we're going so poor dog's gonna be stuck in the back of the car with him while <laughs> fuji's up front with us and yeah. you know 
But now nah, we'll, we'll get it taken care of. He likes car rides. So, and then uh, somebody had a birthday this week. Yeah, it was my birthday week. I had a birthday uh, was Thursday. And I normally take my birthday off, and I had planned on, actually planned on taking the day off from work uh, up until, was it a week or two ago? Yeah, a couple got, weeks ago. Got an opportunity to, that I could pass up. We got a special invite to a private tour of uh, DreamWorks Animation. So, uh, studio. my... Studio. Well, the, the whole studio. Yeah, yeah this is the... Uh, they have an 11 acre campus in Glendale and uh, we got uh, invited to go down there and you know I'm thinking oh you know it's quite a few people going well it's actually it was four people going it's me and my boss and then uh, another two people and we got a private tour of basically DreamWorks animation so it's pretty awesome <clears throat> you know we get there and uh, and I got down there a little early and you know, they say, oh, well, everybody's hanging over, hanging out at Starbucks, and they have their own Starbucks, right? They got their whole cafeteria, you know. If you saw the movie um, Interns, right, where they go into Google and everything's free, same place, this is how they is. You go in, everything's free. You go get free coffee, whatever. I mean, it's <laughs> like, oh, wow, my work doesn't do that. <laughs> well, you mentioned yoga classes. Oh, yeah, they lunch. have yoga at lunch and, you know. It's just they, they've they got an awesome setup there. But uh, so I was hanging out and talking with um, uh, the people that were going to go through there. The reason why I'm going is because uh, we purchase a lot of equipment from Hewlett Packard servers and, and stuff like that. And DreamWorks uses Hewlett Packard. So the people that I buy through all of our equipment uh, set this up for us so we can go and see their their server farm and talk with their IT staff but as part of that you get it they're doing a whole tour of you know kind of how they create the animated movies and you know everything this is pretty awesome so uh, so we're hanging out and then my my boss finally showed up so we got started take us into a theater and they kind of go through the you know the storyboarding how they do that how they turn this into like rough animation and all of the steps that go through actually making an animated movie so you know some of the stuff that you think is you know you wouldn't know until you actually hear them talk about it, is that they actually like the uh the um actors that come in and do the voice work they actually do that up front before they actually start creating the animation because they actually work from the actors uh, mannerisms and expressions and stuff like that while they're voicing through the movie and the uh, animators actually use that as part of the character. You think of uh, like Jack Black as the Kung, Kung Fu, Fu Panda and he, you look at that you can see Jack Black and, and how he's acting and stuff like that. So that, that was one of the interesting things that uh, I kind of learned is how they do that. And so uh, we went through and they did, uh, brought us into the, the theater. They do previews and stuff like that, of uh, the movies there. But they showed us kind of the, the sequence of the storyboarding. They did a scene out of um, How to Train, train, train Your Dragon 2. And so they kind of went through that sequence and then they went into like the rough animation and uh, kind of talked about how they kind of worked through it with all the art artists and the director and stuff like that. So it was pretty awesome because they kind of show the, the development of it. Um, and so they're showing the, this in the theater. And we uh, wrapped up from there and kind of walked around the campus. And they took us from there into How to Train Your Dragon 2. They actually dedicated an entire floor to their one of their buildings that is the whole team working on the movie. So they have all of this stuff on the walls posted up so people kind of live in that environment while they're developing a movie. It's pretty awesome. So they have the different characters and how they come up with them, like the dragons are a combination of, of things that we know, like a, like a pit bull combined with something else. They actually style a dragon after that because then you see that and you think, Pitbull, so you get a sense of the character, but then it's a, a dragon. So, um, hmm. so this is kind of the development stuff. But we kind of walked through the floor, and they were showing us the different things and how much detail that goes into even stuff in the background. So it was pretty cool that uh, that they kind of you know 
do that and then even down to the styling of the huts you know people who know that era time period would be turned off if the huts didn't match what they're supposed to look like so they actually go through and do that kind of research to try and make sure that the animated scenes and stuff kind of fit in, entirely you know and this is pretty interesting so they go through and, and we went through and toured that whole floor and uh you know, basically see all, you know, kind of where the teams work and stuff. And then they took us down and we actually met with the lead animator, uh, that super, the, the supervising animator, he kind of oversees that. And he sat down with us and um, he showed us the tools that they use to actually do animation. So th this is all the computer stuff. They actually have a their own developed software to do all of the animation and stuff in these movies. And he was showing us the old version and then they like updated this several years ago to the, you know, something that's a little more easier to use. And he was describing, you know, back in the day, you know, they had to like put in, you know, different numbers to adjust things and then compile it. And he's like, when, we, when you're compiling it, you're off, go get a cup of coffee, you know, wait for the, all of this. Now the new software that they have, actually um, compiles it's real time so they make an adjustment and you can see it there <laughs> and you can actually play out the whole sequence with all these changes and they were actually showing us scenes from an upcoming movie that hasn't been released yet called home that's uh, i think released in the end of towards the end of march uh, but they were showing us working through some of the characters and and some of the scenes with that so it's pretty <laughs> awesome that uh, uh to see how how much goes into these these movies and after we finished up with the lead animator they actually took us down to the the studio this is where you you may have seen where they do the 3d modeling where they put uh actors and stuff into suits that have the little electrodes on them and they they film them and so they actually pick up the positions and digitize all of that well one of the things uh that they were showing us is they can actually do like virtual reality filming. So they do the uh, animation and they can, it's, I'm gonna try to figure out how to describe this because I, I have a video of this, but I can't really show it because I, I have to sign non-disclosure stuff. So I can't really share it uh, to that detail, but uh, it's where there's a whole studio where, and they actually play the, animation and then the director or a cameraman actually wears a camera and he can actually move around the room although there's nothing in it but they actually have the character the animated characters working and depending on where you move the camera it changes the angle of how these characters are showing up in the camera and so you, it's pretty neat because uh, you know, there's a camera shoulder rig and you're seeing the screen. So you, you see through that the characters that really aren't there, but you're seeing them and you're moving, you can move around them and get different angles on them. And so they let, they chose someone from the audience. Well, okay, there's only four. And uh, they knew as actually on my birthday, I got to go down there. So they let me actually do the camera work. So that I actually got to um, use their digital camera, go through and film a whole scene of animated characters that really aren't there. But as I'm, I'm watching, you know, so I can change the angle and do that. And then up on the, they have a big screen that's showing everybody kind of what I'm seeing. And it was pretty awesome. I mean, it's <laughs> like, wow, you know, this is pretty cool stuff, you know, mm -hmm. but, uh, but yeah, that's a huge studio. I'd love to have that. <laughs> <laughs> so we finished up there and, and then we uh, went up and, and, Basically, they brought in lunch for us, and, and we sat around and, and talked with their, oh, completely missing, went and saw their server, their server farm. Now, basically, digital, these digital animation movies, 100% digital, require a lot of horsepower, computing power, storage, the whole works. And uh, it's interesting talking with their IT, because they have a little bit different IT challenges than we do. But they, you know, they, they're just talking about all of the stuff that they've got. And um, so we went through and saw their server farm and, and talked to them about kind of their IT strategy. They've got uh, locations all over the world, all over the United States that they actually work from. And so they have, you know, sending data back and forth, keeping it, you know, redundant. This is all work stuff. So <laughs> still 
amazing animation stuff. So we'll get back to that. So we, we actually had lunch with the, um, their head IT person. And so we got to talk to him about kind of what they've got going, kind of their approaches where our stuff kind of overlaps. So we get to talk with them because, um, you know, they, they're, they just have a lot of stuff to do, you know, and <laughs> it was good to, to meet with them, but awesome you know they're talking about they create patents there you know just like uh, apple has patents well dreamworks has their own patents that they create as they're developing stuff you know like the software and the tools that they do to make animation better they actually uh, patent their ideas so that they're um exclusive to them or whatever you know so that they can protect it but they have a whole wall of different patents that they actually have there and it was just a good time, and uh, <laughs> you know their their studio sits right by two major freeways. And one of the things that the, that was neat about the place is you can't hear hear the freeways at all because they have flowing water and water features and fountains and waterfalls and and through the whole thing. So it it kind of drowns out or kind of masks the freeway noise. Uh, but it's very, it was very picturesque, the whole campus. I mean, just beautiful place. And, <laughs> and like I was mentioning to Don, they do lunchtime yoga in this big grassy area. And it's very peaceful and relaxing. But uh, it definitely was a uh, worth going into work on my birthday for. You know, it's, <laughs> it was one of those things that, eh, you know, it doesn't, uh, one of those opportunities you got to jump on when they come up. So it was really good. I had to, had a really good time and, you know. Don's like, do selfies and stuff. I know. I'm like, I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I don't do selfies, but she's like, you look angry. I'm like, well, I'm sitting here amongst the, everybody eating their lunch. I'm trying to take a picture of myself. I'm like, nah. So, so I did get some pictures of the campus, but uh, with my iPhone, I didn't bring my camera in with me. Because um, some of the areas, they said I couldn't take pictures. Um, but, you know, it's well worth, uh, well worth my time to go in there. So. And you're not involved with any movie or no, no. your work? No, I'm not. I just, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not in the motion picture animation. Uh, but like I said, we, I buy um, servers and, and network equipment and storage and all of that stuff. And, and they use uh, Hewlett Packard there, just like we use Hewlett Packard. And so the company that I buy through deals with them, and they were the ones that actually arranged to get this. Uh, um, private tour set up, which is I said, mm, pretty mm -hmm. good. You know, I guess, uh, you know, it, it helps to know people <laughs> and, uh, it, it was good. It was a real enjoyable birthday, uh, outing. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that was my, uh, my highlight of the week other than sharing my birthday with Dawn and their surprise. They were, she, she tries to surprise me when I tell her she doesn't need to get me anything of cards enough, but her and Jimmy are always working on stuff. So I yeah. got some gifts that I told them that I didn't have to get me, but I oh, had a good birthday all the way around. Very uh, memorable. And the, the upside is I'm still alive. <laughs> 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 I told Don way, way, way back when we were dating. This is, this is a long time ago. Yeah that uh, I don't even know how it even came up, but I said, oh, you know, I'll probably be dead by the time I'm 45. So, <laughs> so my whole, whole last year, which I'm 46 now, was she's like waiting for me to die because I said, I'm gonna die when I'm 45. So they were all excited. I had because my birthday. this is his big one to us. Yeah, you know? this is a big one. I'm not dead. Congratulations, <laughs> you're not dead. So. That's was even your card. <laughs> yes, I know. <laughs> So, yeah, so I'm glad Don can now relax because I'm not dead at 45, so. Well, you are a type 1 diabetic since the age of 10, you know. And yeah, and that's probably why I mentioned way back I'll be dead by the time I'm 45, back when I was youthful and yeah. young and dumb. <laughs> but see, I take care of myself now, and so health-wise, I'm, I'm doing really good, so I don't ha really have any issues there. But she's still worried because I said eons ago that I was going to be dead when I was 45. So, yep. so here I am still alive. So <laughs> thumbs up there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and then, uh, and then my birthday weekend goes on to 
Oh, yeah. Uh, I got more stuff. <laughs> I'll just, I should have brought my knitting. Yeah, yeah. I know. Well, <laughs> he got Patrick to keep yeah. you entertained. But uh, anyway, so yeah, so um, one of the things I mentioned is that our, our you know, a couple weeks ago, the well pump went, or the pressure pump went out, and then our, our pressure tank also had an issue. So I actually got that in. So I'm working on getting that changed out in the well house. We have a, a pump house that we uh, keep all of our pump equipment in, the pump and storage tank and stuff like that. And we've had it out there for, you know, since before we built the house. And I've been wanting to drywall it off just to make it look a little nicer, a little, you know. But I couldn't because the water pressure tank sits in the way of where I need to kind of get on one of the walls. And so now that I'm changing out that pressure tank, I'm going to take the time to actually drywall uh, around it. So I'll, um, I've been working on that this weekend to hang drywall and get that ready. And then actually after we get done podcasting, I'm going to go out, drain the whole system again, take the tank out, drywall behind it, put the tank back, and we're good to go. So it'll look all schmancy. <laughs> <laughs> do private tours of my well house <laughs> not nearly as entertaining as uh, DreamWorks animation but uh, hey Patrick are you going to come say hi but anyway so that's I think oh, that's it for farm happenings so yep. on so to farmers, farmer's almanac. almanac is a question from sundaisy920 Angie and she says, I believe y'all have a big lizard. <laughs> There's <laughs> our big lizard. Yep. And she wants to know what they're like, if they're affectionate, do they know their name? She said they're creepy, and she'd like to hear all about him. Well. Well, he does know his name. Because if you go into his room yes, <laughs> and say, Patrick, you know, he'll... Mm -hmm. He'll look. He's just now waking up from hibernating because during the winter they, yes, I'm talking about mm -hmm. you, they hibernate. And uh, what's really neat about uh, the bearded dragons is, uh, see, he was like this big Yeah, he was, he was little. little. But he's, he's like stunted. This is as big as he's getting. I think some of them get bigger, but... Uh, he doesn't like to eat unless I He's, feed him. He is a picky lizard. Yes. So. If, he was, if he was to survive on his own, he wouldn't survive he wouldn't. very long. But what's neat is, uh, is it iguanas too mm -hmm. that have the third eye? Oh, yeah. They actually have a third eye right up here. So he's probably shutting his eyes right now. I can't tell if he did or not. No. So. But they have a third eye right here. You can't see it, but like when they're in the trees, like if they were in a natural jungle or whatever, they would. They, I heard something. They uh, would sense. It that. senses like a bird or something that would eat them flying over, and so they can camouflage or mm -hmm. he will. Act, he puffs up. You know, he actually... He's supposed to puff up. Yeah. He, he, <laughs> but... He, he knows he's not... Yeah, it's more of like... It's not like an eye where it's clear. It's It senses light and dark. So he yeah. senses when something's moving over him. He's not going to do it now. He's like, I'm on camera. I'm going to take advantage. <laughs> but... Uh, but this is... But he is a bearded dragon. Um, and... We were considering a bearded dragon or an iguana back when we were Jimmy. This yeah. this was Jimmy's pet for about <laughs> six months. <laughs> he won't even pick it up now. Yeah. But uh, um, and and one of the things that the difference between like a bearded dragon and an iguana is iguana is a thinking lizard. Yeah, they think. They're very you know. You, you They've can got a brain. Yeah. Whereas a bearded dragon, he's like. Uh, okay, if you've ever watched SpongeBob, <laughs> this is why his name is Patrick. You know, Patrick is SpongeBob's sidekick. That's he's kind of drooling out the side of the mouth. Uh, and uh, well, this is that's what Patrick is. He's he is not uh, he is not too um, he is not active. Thinking, I mean, he, oh, he sees himself. But <laughs> hey, there's another Patrick there. But yeah, he's not a very thinking. 
He's not uh, aggressive. He's really, I mean, he just, he'll this sit here. It. This is this is as exciting as he gets. Sometimes he'll, well, if we put him down on the ground, he'll move around, you know, kind of run a bit. But this is, this is, this is as much animation <laughs> as you get out of Patrick, which is okay. I mean, that we didn't want something that... Uh, Can jump their body length. That yeah, jump or yeah. is, is more aggressive because iguanas are more aggressive. He's, he's, uh, you know, drooling out the side of the mouth like Patrick on SpongeBob. But no, he's, how old is he now? We got him quite some time ago. <laughs> Is he 10 this year? Yeah, I think he's 10 years old. So yeah. they, he lives quite a while. Yeah. But, you know, he's he lives in a cage. He's got the heat lamp and bricks and stuff. And, you know, he eats uh, pretty much romaine lettuce and crickets. Uh, I know on occasion you get him a... I've done it three times. Yeah, a couple times. That, a yeah. pinky. But, uh, but yeah, so, the, I mean, the big thing is getting calcium in them so his bones stay strong. And uh, there's some powder calcium stuff that we, we can use to, yeah. to make sure he's supplemented. But he's really entertained by this. He likes any, if it moves, then he'll watch it, you mm -hmm. know, but. But, yeah, f affectionate? Mm, no, no, not so much. He doesn't come and give you kisses. He's not a dog. <laughs> But yeah, so that's that's Patrick for you. He's uh now he's gonna do his mouth thing. Oh now he's he's ooh, I'm on camera. <laughs> I'm on camera. You gonna do some push ups for him? But yeah, he's got uh you can see this the prickly spines on him. Let me get this to focus. So he's got he's got that protection on there, but yeah, he's He's like, wow, look at all that exciting stuff. But that's our, like I said, that's yeah. that's our lizard. He's not affectionate. He kind of knows his name or he just knows sound. He pays yeah, he'll attention. eat uh, superworms too. But see, they have to be right by his face. Otherwise, yeah, we, we're getting... You have to drop the food in front of him yeah. or he doesn't have to... Whereas most of them will, yeah. you know, go after him. Yeah, he's lazy. He's, he's lazy. lazy. Oh. I've literally had to put it, you know, <laughs> come on, come on, come on, come on, and eat, you see? It's like, no, not right now. Mm -mm. But no, he's, he's cool. Mm -hmm. He's cool looking, but, uh, yep, that's, that's it for our lizards. Yep. So. That's the last time. <laughs> that's, yeah, no more. Jimmy's old enough to not want to play with lizards now. So far in the coop. In the coop. Do I have anything for in the coop? No. Uh, preemie? Well, no, I am spinning. This is, I finished four ounces of the Crown Mountain Farms. This is the finished part. And so I can start this four ounces. So, yeah, it'll be a while. And then I will uh, two ply them together. That's all my in the coop. I don't, That's it. I haven't in coop. Well, you got a lot of flown the coop. Yes, you, I do. You got a pile of flown the coop. So you've so, been. Yeah. Your your projects have all been flown because you've been having fun with those. Yeah. So flown the coop. I finished the leaf and lace head scarf, which is by Carolyn Doe, and this was a gift from Heartland Knits. And uh, I need to still block it, and I need to add a button. So it's it's done, you know, and it wraps around the head, and you button it. So cool. Yep. So it needs to be blocked and buttoned, but it's finished. The knitting is finished. So yay! Yay! It's time to rinse, rinse it, and yeah. pin it off. Well, I'm, you know, I want the lace to open up a little bit more in that part. Yeah. So there's a pucker too that you get, yeah, get, get it laid out. out so. so I did finish that. I did that on size five needles, and this was Barocco Comfort. So it's really, really soft, and that's for my aunt. And uh, and then I uh, <laughs> finished Premi Hat. Who's this one? I don't think I have this one. 
it'll be linked. It's just like the one I did last week. So I, I knit all of that. So I finished that one. Cool. Because there's <laughs> 13 things finished here. <laughs> and this is for the Remembering Remy, and uh, that's T.B. McCarthy. She started the Remembering Remy uh, group, but in her Moms with Yarn podcast group, they're having a Remembering Remy knit along. <laughs> so, I've got a, I competed with the Sharon V. Bronx knitter this week. Because <laughs> she finished eight prim she finished eight knitted preemie hats. I had mentioned that last week. Yeah, so I finished twelve. <laughs> one one is knitted and the rest are crocheted. Yep. So and this is uh it's called ten minute preemie hat. I will have it linked and uh, it takes more than ten minutes. So I did that one, that one. I was just kind of finishing up this violet yarn. And uh, so that's why this one has a edging because. It looks kind of cool yeah. doing it that way. So. And these ones are all the same size. And then a green one. And then three pink ones. And these, are, these have just been so fun. I've just. And then two of the cream. So they're just so fun. I don't have to think. I can just sit there and whip them out. Yeah. So it's like. It's pretty cool. Yay. A lot of hats to, to send in. Mm -hmm. So this will come in handy for the. Yeah. That's really helps them. Preemie department. Yeah. So and it's all Karen Simply Soft. So it's. So they can be. Uh, so whenever you do preemie hats, well, not just washed, they they put them in a sterilized, uh, they sterilize them. So it needs to be a washable. Yeah. It can't be any kind of wool or anything. So, yep. Pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. I'm knocking it out. Yeah. So then, let's go wheel like a pig. Well, we're already at squeal like a pig. Got a package this week, and it's funny because it came on James's birthday. <laughs> and this is from Nitty Van Cat, but she's Kitty Van Cat on Instagram, Katie. And she has the sisters, stitched, the Stitch Sisters. See, the one thing I didn't double check, and I listen to her every week, or they're every other week, Stitch Sisters. God, my brain's going bad. She sent me this awesome card. Yeah, and on their podcast, they've been having a Downton Abbey trivia. Mm -hmm. So that's been fun to... Because they talk a lot about uh, shows they're watching. And see, I do listen. <laughs> <laughs> it's an audio podcast. And uh, so here's her shop, Nitty Cat Bags. Nitty Cat Bags, Etsy.com. And she had this cool uh, needle gauge, needle gauge and, and uh, thread count, or uh, swatch, swatch, swatch gauge, swatch gauge. Isn't that cool? It fits perfectly in a bag and stuff. So awesome. And then I got to show you the bag. Look at this <laughs> bag. It's Triangle Snoopy. Isn't that so cool? Awesome. You know, cute uh, fabric to match inside. And if you're hearing snoring, it's Dundee's. <laughs> <laughs> so that was super exciting because I, I love Snoopy. And look how that's just happy. That just screams happy. Colorful. Mm -hmm. And then she had some more mini skeins. Yay! Look at, they're so pretty. Look how pretty those are. Mm -hmm. So I'll have to dig my blanket out again since so, I got some mini skeins and so fun. Pretty big mini skeins. Yeah. That's going to go a long way. Well, because I think some of these are a striping, so, you know, I'll be able to 
You just hit more than one square. Yeah. So that was oh. super fun. It's funny, you uh, showed her card. It's got the sheep on there. It's one thing that I, the DreamWorks, when I was there, they always have sheep in their cartoons. Uh, the, I, the person that was doing the tour doesn't know the story behind it, but they say they, they have, they stick sheep in all of their car, um, cartoons. Like hmm. in How to Catch, your, uh, how, how to, to Train, train, your, train dragon. your Dragon 2, they're using the, the sheep as like a ball that the dragons are, are playing, scoring with. So they're like, the, <laughs> they don't eat them. That's oh. the, <laughs> but they use the sheep. They, have, they stick sheep in a lot of their animation. She doesn't know why, she didn't know why, but huh. pointed that out. And I thought, oh, that's funny. It's a knitting, maybe they like knit to knit. Yeah. <laughs> you should have found out from somebody. Well, she didn't know why they stick them in, mm. and she had mentioned that that this all the animation they stick the sheep in there, but she doesn't know what she didn't know what the backstory on that was, but hmm. it always ends up in there. So pretty cool. So, so I guess we're to round up. Round up already. All right, Patrick, you want to help me with the round up? All right, come on, buddy. That's right. So <clears throat> Patrick says. Don't forget, you can get a free Wolf Farm video podcast button with any paid order at Wolf Farms. Just ask for that in the comments section when you're checking out. And Patrick will make sure we get you a, a free Wolf Farm video button in with your order when we ship that off. <laughs> right? Good job, Patrick. Maybe you should be our mascot for the, uh, for the podcast. What do you think? He's like, no, put me back in my cage. <laughs> All right, but uh, I want to remind you that uh, cherry almonds on sale for the month of March, and we have other have other sale items as well. So swing on by and check that out. Yep. Sure, you'll find something you'll enjoy. So until next time, let's get cracking, hatching it. Bye. Bye. Bye.